Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. So we're headed off, dropping off our wool at Spinnery so we can get that filled up. I think, depending on how full we are at this time for wool, I might... Oh, let's see how much we got. We got 10,000 liters. So I think after the next batch of wool that we bring in, I might start start saving some back and I think we're gonna start se selling some of it to Johnson's farmers I think it's Johnson's farmers market yeah Johnson's farmers market so that's what what we're gonna be doing here eventually uh, so today's task that we got our hand is that our winter barley is ready to go so we're gonna get that started harvesting that and then we're gonna get the straw baled today as well and get that all put away uh, there were a few contracts out there this morning. Um, there were the contract system mod that I have is starting to work a little bit better, but we're not going to pick up any as of right now. We're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna knock out our get our barley harvest knocked out, so that way we have feed for our chickens. And I was kind of taking stock of our barns and trying to figure out if there's any sheep that I want to be selling in the next couple months because we got some that are gonna be having babies here in probably two or three months and I think we're gonna hold off for a bit cuz right now they're not the oldest sheep we got aren't really at a great price so I figure we might as well just hang on to them till they get a little bit more mature and then we'll we'll get rid of some and the after the next set of sheep start having babies so that's kind, that's kind of the plan for the livestock right now and I think Think, and for the used market, there was nothing out there this morning. The only thing new that popped up was a loading wagon, which we honestly don't need. The one thing I should start thinking about, though, is we're starting to go through our bales quite a bit faster now, especially since <clears throat> especially since we have such a we're starting to get such a good sized sheep herd here. Get that unhooked here. We'll get the wagons hauled out to the field here first before we grab the combine. But we're starting to go through a good amount. I think we're starting to go through a good amount of... Oh. Oh, we got a little bit yet left on here. Let's get rid of that. There we go. We're starting to go through a good amount of grass and hay for our sheep. So we might, might have to start thinking about putting up a grass field for us, an actual grass field, but I think we're going to still, I'll probably try to get some, oh, mo, some baling, grass baling done today as well. I mean, or, if we got the time for it, this mold this, mold this normal side, the borders of the field and such, I think we'll be sitting pretty good, so. And I'm trying to think. Feels so long since I last played on this, started recording on this series again, even though it has been, it's been about a week. But I just kind of lose my train of thought. I especially bounce back between Old Man's Land and this one. I'm trying to remember. I think we were going to invest into another piece of ground first and then into a machine shed. Oh, let's. A bigger machine shed, so that way when we buy our bigger combine will be set and let's see there we go start getting our horde starting to hoard our eggs here so we're getting cause I think usually November is about the month we want to start selling those uh, let's look let's look at the markets quick yeah so April's the prime time to sell wool. But we might start stockpile. We might take another we'll probably take another load in and stockpile it. And what was I gonna look at again? Oh fabric is plummeting. Ah uh, shoot. I'm I'm losing my mind right now. You'll have to forgive me. But we don't really have anything to sell for the market, so. Sneak this out here. But I 
I think for today, for today, I think the plan is right now we're gonna we're gonna get our barley barley harvested, and we're gonna get the straw bailed up, and then if we got time, I should say if we got time, if we have time, my beacon on here. Hopefully the car get across. There we go. If we have time today, I think we. Well, maybe we should pick up a contract because we, we can always just mow the grass next month for. For ourselves, and I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. We might pick. We might pick up a contract here after we get done. Uh, with our uh, our barley harvest and our straw. Bailing the straw, we'll see what's left for contracts, and if we got time we'll do one of those so we'll jump into the time lapse here now and we'll see you guys in a bit Oh 
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. Kind of a boring one, but there wasn't really much going on for this month. But at least we got a contract knocked out. We're up to $50,000, which is going to be much, some much-needed money, especially when we start looking at buying our new header. So I know I said at the beginning of the episode we were going to buy a shed first, or ground first. I think we're going to buy the shed first and then pick up the next combine afterwards. And hopefully... And then we'll worry about picking up another piece of ground afterwards. Because I, I keep forgetting that we bought Field 42. So we got quite a bit of ground to cover now. Versus what we w had before. Well, I shouldn't say had. Well, we did have before. But from what I can remember, so to speak. Like I said, it's been about a week, week, week and a half since I last played this series. So it's kind of trying. And between bouncing between this and No Man's Land, I'm just trying to remember what I, what goals I have for each set for each series on there so but like i said this is where we're wrapping up today's episode if you guys enjoyed the episode today please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're enjoying the content please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series above all else i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and most of all thanks for watching mm -hmm.